。にゃ。はい、みなさんがねにちは、私はあなたさんですね。よろしくにゃ。ねんぱりですあなたさん、にゃってみにゃ、にゃろ。おわかばいとはなのアニメメキメキシュービデオ。お、ティアモーネアンパイア。えの、パドザで、おはようございます。こんにちは。え、あんこんばんは。えどうぞ。おで、グモーニングラフトデングビーニン。にゃ。And I have been saying that for quite a while. <laughs> so, so, in the last episode, we get to introduce our protagonist, Mia Luna Tiamun, who, in the age of 20, got her head chopped by the guillotine. But somehow, she was transported back into time where she was 8 years old and with, with her memory still intact. She assumed she was, it was a dream, but after reading her. Diary, <laughs> she just realized that she wasn't dreaming, and you know, she decided to use her second chance to to make to rewrite history so she wouldn't get the, the chop off the head. <laughs> and yes, I apologize that I thought this is an isekai anime, sorry, but this is actually a fantasy anime where she's just been transported back in time. <laughs> but yeah, we still get introduced. What's it we get introduced? Oh, Mia Met. Mia Kun and, and Gilletin Kun. <laughs> so, after, after a while, they meet, meet the, the maid that had been helping her a lot, Annie, and she decided to make her, her, her personal maid. <laughs> That's so much about it. So, okay. Now, now for this anime reaction video, and on this one, I'll be hearing. Reading the in the opening because the opening is good and it's actually been stuck in my head in my head for quite a while. And、uh, Sumeri Oisaka is singing is good. <laughs> yes, I've also been a fan of hers ever since she was a voice in, in some other animes, especially Anastasia from My Little Masters, Cinderella Girls, and、uh, and Girls on Fantasies as well. But okay. Okay, okay. So, other than that, I also realized that Annie, the main, is actually voiced by Tomori Kusunoki, the, form, the voice actress of Setsuna.、Ah. And also, if you notice the other anime creation, she's actually the Princess Lizette. <laughs> the, in the other anime she ever did. But okay. But okay, okay, that's much about it. So, anyways, if you like this anime reaction video, give a like, subscribe, and also. If you also check out my other anime reaction videos in my YouTube channels and also view these. And also, also check out my Twitch channel for the upcoming for stream living, which is around Wednesday to Friday. But depending on the situations, I'm also be streaming in other, other days as well. Yeah. So, anyway, without further ado, This anime action video starts in 3, 2, 1, and showtime! This is t i a m o n s Empire Gold Moon Ministry. <laughs> yes. Well, a man I need to see is. Ah, yes, hello. I'm too bad. Uh, no, that's not what she meant. Annie is got fired up over her, situ- over her perspective of the situation. Unbeknownst to Mia, who was preoccupied, recalling her encounter in the previous timeline with a young civil servant, fighting a solitary battle to balance the Empire's financial scales. Oh. You must be Ludwig. Your reputation precedes you. Your excellent work is recognized. Do you know how much is spent on the right family's meals?、Uh, look, I-, I have a curator's department in person to praise you. t o s p o k e of it like this, you. It will be h i n d e r to have you just standing here forever. If you have spare time, Use it to do something only a princess can do, Your Highness Princess Mia. That f o i n e t I was. <laughs> ah, so she's still pissed at him on some reason. It could hardly have gone worse. 
to the clash of text of your movie. See you at the show me and say you'll be known up to the Crimson Moon Ministry. Yeah, gila tin tak eh. Tak ye. Gila tin. Excuse me, your highness. What are you doing here? My love, what with you? Annie, that's not how it works. Say it's all right. Say it's all right. Okay. Here to walk. So let's see what shenanigans is going to happen this next episode. The side so yeah, Episode two, Princess Mia display her smug face. Also, this I just told you I'm busy. Also, that his voice, like Ludwig, is voiced by Yuichi Umihara. <laughs> No, I didn't spoil much of it, so on the who's voice actor, so I just see how let's go. So what do you wanna ask? Let's see, straight under the car, is it? Okay. I suppose my question is, how do we set the Empire's finances right? In that case, answer me this, your highness Princess Mia. To begin with, are you aware how much is being spent on your highness's meals? To speak of the setting of empires right without even not knowing much knowledge. Well, let's see. For each meal, about one month's worth of your pay. It's probably one gold coin customer, what I would say. To begin with, the problem with the empire's finances is simply put. There's more money than going out than coming in. In order to serve that, She seems very happy on that. Okay, what's going on? Are you listening, princess? To hold such a high position and yet be utterly ignorant to the situation the nation is facing. Some princess are you. You, you are. To begin the problem with the empress finances is to be put me poor, blah, 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 yak, 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 blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. For I said, <laughs> so that's why. Yes, in short, the empire has quite a few particular measures. In particular, blah blah blah. The cause of our worsening relation with neighbors. In, sorry, her entire answer was copied and pasted. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> yeah, she has just copied and pasted nothing. Uh, what? Oh my. <gasps> not yet, Annie! Not yet! <laughs> to have such a sages in the middle of the royal family, I am struck with admiration. Did you just call me sages? R really, this girl? The top of us. I think this might be why. Ah, this is like a one. <laughs> 
Part of me, your highness princess Mia. Given your keen understanding, I imagine you could have set the country state without any help from the likes of me. Oops. Oh, well, that might be true, but yeah, wait, 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 uh, let me try this. What? It's no use, I can't see this thing. Oh, wait, I have consequences. You are indeed still quite young, Princess Mia. People may not listen to you. Would that be your concern? Yeah, that's definitely <laughs> Well, she's Mia just jumped on that heart and she just rolled with it. Well, she just rolled with it and it's a, which is why I would like you to be able to conceal you and hear you, your unreserved opinion. Remain humble about your intelligence and solicit its counsel from your retainers. But I'm memorable attitude. The wicked eyes have been completely clouded by the shock of an experience. But shock, but he really experienced. Oh, what? Wait, what? You have to kiss your hands. I, Louis Hatway, told that she would give me my even all assistance you. Uh, okay? Your Highness, please, this will be my last visit. Though we were in the rocky moments, I will fondly remember. Time we, time we spent in your service. Thus, it was that Mia obtained her greatest ally after Annie. Well, she got two allies, so that's good then. Oh, what happened next? Mm, uh, the words are gone. The past has changed. Thus, we we'll begin my study much forward with being famed for say for Sage City. I think we the was it mean that Louis helped brought about a major change in his. The ending, uh, yeah, she still got. Her head chop up. Dead. <laughs> My fate of the guilty remains unchanged. Ah, oh, great. That's not gonna. An epidemic of slums and uprising by the minority of the empire's periphery. In addition, a sm smattering of the internal issues. How did they know what to do about this? The rot I'm sorry, I mean, uh, I like to see literally, uh, not the fault that uh, rot the fault as you would. What I have on now strikes me as adequate for the occasion. And he seems to have the wrong idea. The happen? Took you for those words of wealthy much in prison to you last year. She seems upset on it. Well, oh well. Uh, this is not a place to be. T oh dear. Who well, I mean, you new this Pisses me out, you honest. Let's turn back. Uh, is this the slums area? No. I need you to see in person ever. See, this must smell fall here. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because she... Yeah, because she was used to it herself. But the people here... Are, Arranging for a pub must be no sp Yeah, that's the issue here because this anyone who wants several days without cleaning a pub will start to smell. Yeah. <laughs> she ever thought of that thing? Hmm? Uh, is that boy alright? He's not dead, is it? 
Oh, he's still alive. His hunger must be so serious. I think it's malnourished or something. He's too hungry. Man. In such a malnourished state, he could fall in on it. Yeah, that's the issue. On account of an epidemic that sweeps through the capital, 10% of the capital's populace lost their life, wrecking havoc on the empire's finances, which Ludwig had nearly fixed. Yeah, so Ludwig nearly fixed the, the, the Voyager timeline, but then things happen. What? Disease? Wait, you mean like a plague? <clears throat> yeah, if you think about it, this is more like the Black Death incident. So I we will say this is more like a disease slash plague or something. No come to me. I mean, focusing so hard on fixing the Empire's finances. And now the, me the measure implements that thanks to Her Highness' support and all steadily showing results. But even if one disease outbreak occurs, that would be all meaningless. Could it be? Has she per perceived that risk? Yeah, I was trying to help me see it. Might be sh or she be a great leader sent by heavens to the capital? Ludwig shook in awe entirely of his own making. And this is when... <laughs> Uh, I hope she doesn't say Sasuga Mia Sama! <laughs> Just like Ain Sama, like Sasuga Mia, Sasuga Ain Sama, something like this. I have organized through my own epidemic countermeasure. Excellent, I knew you. There are two ways to prevent diseases. One, distribute the food to the residents to ensure they are healed. Two, provide sufficient medical institutions. Only to do so, you mean to say it will require vast. Yeah, both of them still need more money for that. Not just the hot physical construction, but also maintaining costs and continuous provision of food. It requires a ground up budget revision and even a greater tighten of exp expenditures. Yeah. Then. Hmm? Wait, what? What she's doing, taking out her happen. <laughs> it's too <dirty. gasps> I do not mind. No matter how precious something to you, if you can't grab it tight, you will be lost when you lose it. It will be broken when you do. What's the your Highness, I can say that you are truly a saint. <laughs> yeah, she's all like, it's also come here, Sama. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Since you got stolen the original timeline, <laughs> so that's why. I solely make the maximum use of treasure be stolen. Princess Mia is so aware that the sum of the race by selling this hairpin will be a far cry from the unmount needed. This is the young princess showing the highest level of benevolence. What? Seriously? She does that? What? The project name from... I can't believe she did that. Um, the nobles will be taken back from the grim. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, uh, I, uh, I, okay, uh, we have it. So thus, in 20 days later, we decide that a large hospital will be built in the New Moon District. Wow. The following days, my brother's frozen Disney had me so popular in the street. So I was buying them for you, thinking, This girl! <laughs> you ever thought of this throughout the city, know you were the impetus of the new hospital? They say you're the people's goddess. <laughs> really now? <laughs> so, so they say, Sasuga <laughs> Miyasama. Yeah, she's one of the first people to say. 
The kind person will share you this. So like my younger sister. <gasps> oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a very good idea. At least you got to try the desserts. That's okay. If, since you're bedridden, it's okay. Just take it easy. Vincent is an understanding person. She will gladly excuse for such a small. It's really an acting no fan whatsoever. Don't worry about it. Even this melt my moment into my mouth. It's too freaking since feel my nose. Mia is fully focused on the frozen dessert. I write stories. They improve provisions pins and the golden dragon. Wait, I don't know. The Improvisist Princess and the Golden Dragon is a story about the prince and the dragon. Thus, begin a journey to spread smiles throughout the kingdom. I should love to hear more. Spending the time in this cell is a dull boring. Ah, certainly. There seems to be a story still being written. To get the next portion of the art, I'll bring it in. To it. I can't finish the story. Wait, what, what, what's going on? Forgive me, I won't be able to read you the rest of the story. Why? I will not least the author stop. No. <laughs> Damn, she's dead. Wait, but with the famine, she couldn't forget for. Ooh. So, I think it's thanks to her intervention about the famine and all this plague and and the disease, I think this also is going to save her. And it's just a- What? Why? That way I can have you focus on pretty. Wait, about money? Uh, wait. Wait. What? what? Maybe in a good arrangement for- <gasps> Favoritism? Oh yeah, the- she will also assume that this is favoritism because because of the end, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the thing. If I say what this first the protagonist is this uh, this like very charmingly and the dragon slightly beating personally makes the interaction quite amusing. Finally the dual scene of the reach of the antagonist Simon. The emotion clash do set poses with the clash of, the, of their blades. I couldn't get any number. Your Highness. How do you know? <laughs> spoiler, 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 spoiler. The good. The princess learned spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> no, but I know it's several years for now. Yeah, this is spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Ah, yes, I see. <laughs> and this is when Maya, Mia Sama learns the meaning of spoilers. And this is. <laughs> I need to be as as say as wise as Prince and me, I can easily see where this story is going. Ludwig has a serious case, my aunt is this place why she reads him as well. <laughs> the narrator is <laughs> And she just rolls with it. Alright, oh, uh, the apple fell from the same tree as Annie. And also that she also and she also fall victims on it on the Sasuga 
<laughs> Mais ya, ça va. <laughs> So yeah, I don't think she's just like showing favoritism. So thus, did the Empire gain yet another ordinary follow of Maya, Mia, right? She was one day, right? The life of the saint, Imperial Princess Mia. A work of nearly entirely fiction, glorified Mia, will wind up flying off the shelves. But well, that's one of the story. Alright, let's skip to the... Oh, sorry. All right. Okay, I'm guessing this is the invitation to this. Come spring, I will leave this castle and start the dorm life at Saint Noah's Academy. I have prop over my diary and prepare for this in my own way. In the case of disaster, revelation will occur. My goal is to build the most beneficial connection I can, and stay away from dangerous individuals who might lead me to the guillotine. Especially Tiona, Revela, and Sia. That's something. Yeah, I. Yeah, I have a feeling it might not be that easy. Okay, so that's it for today's episode. My God. <laughs> so I'm guessing that this is like, this is where the Sasuga Mia Sama. <laughs> Misunderstanding comes in when she, she's, see, in her first life, she's actually the, the queen who doomed her own kingdom to the sages met right near Sama, the sages prince. Yes. So, although I'm thinking the sages part is actually, sages is actually the wise sage, or the saint, or maybe we can just call it the saint Ma Mia, like, Sasuke Mia Sama. <laughs> Oh no, that's spoiler me spot like spoiler 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 <laughs> Okay okay this is your favorite fix on it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, anyways, anyways, I'm looking forward to see what's going on in the next episode. So anyways, if you like this anime make sure video, give a like this guy. And also check out my BOD channels. And anime review videos in, in my YouTube channel and also whenever I do streaming always check out check out my my Twitch channel. Oh, oh, I I'm mostly streaming around Wednesday to to Friday, but depending on situation I might stream in other days. So anyways, this is Anne signing off. Bye and yeah.